Don't let just anybody see this video, but let the one that you have chosen to see this right now prophetic word. But God sent me to you today to release this prophetic word to you because God knows where you are in the season of your life. And I've seen in the realm of the Spirit that you have been going through a lot lately. You've been going through the feeling of feeling burdened, overwhelmed, the sensation of just feeling like you're carrying too much right now. Just like there's so much going on around you, you're kind of just wondering how to put the pieces of the puzzle together. But I'm here to release this prophetic word to you today, as well as I want to share with you the scripture that God gave to me for you. And then I want to release a prayer over your life that's going to allow you to walk into your destiny feeling more free and more lighter today. But this prophetic word that God gave me concerning your life is to be able to allow you to taste and see who He is for you in this situation. Turn with me to Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. And it says, Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your soul. I see right now in the realm of the Spirit that your soul is very unsettled with all the burdens, with all the situations, and with all the things you're facing. But God told me to tell you this, that I'm setting up right now before you. I see a stage being set up, and God says, I'm marking this as the spot. And what God is about to do is to, about to bring you into this place to where you're going to experience a new way of living, a new way of life. You're going to discover God in a whole new realm. But I see God calling you into the secret place. The secret place is you, by the way. He's calling you into this secret place that you can discover who He is for you in this season. And in the middle of the chaos, just remember this. In the middle of the chaos, God wants you to be able to discover who He is for you in this. But I'm here to tell you, your situation doesn't define you. The pain doesn't define you. What people say about you doesn't define you. Jesus defines you. God is calling you right now, like I said, into the seeker's place. He says, come to me. And God is wanting to show you some things. He wants to show you some things about your finances, about your relationships, about your health. He wants to talk to you about them. He wants you to see more clearly the way he sees, and he wants to put pieces of the puzzle together for you in this season. Because everything seems to be scattered and kind of like all over the place, there's a fresh wind of the Spirit beginning to blow over your life, and God wants you not to miss this opportunity. God says, I want you to know how to perceive me. When you look at the tree and you see the tree moving, and you don't know where the wind uh, is coming from, you don't know what direction it's coming from, but you know the effects of it. And Jesus says, you're born of such. God says, I want to take you into a place that you can understand what you're born of. That what you're seeing around you isn't necessarily identify you, but I identify you. And if you can identify who I am for you, you're going to know how to see in the life-giving spirit of the situation that you're facing. This is going to cause you not to carry any unnecessary yokes or burdens that you've been feeling like are coming on you in the season that are, are, are real. These are real things that you're going through. But God says, I'm setting this moment up as a divine appointment. But God sent me here to tell you today that He's calling you into that secret place, into that place of talking with Him. Not just talking with Him about the same old things you've been talking about, but actually dialogue type talking with Him. Like where you get answers. God wants to give you answers to your prayers in this season, and it's going to be done in the secret place. It's going to be in the, done in the place where you're going to get to ask Him questions like, what do you see? What do you hear? What would you speak? How do you feel? What do you imagine about that? And you're hearing Him give you downloads in the Word of God. 
You're allowing the Spirit of God to lead you as He teaches you how to discern the chaos that's going on around you. But God wants to take the busyness of your life and show you how to find peace. He wants to take the chaos things in your life and teach you how to see from His reality. Because as you see what He sees, you're going to begin to be the miracle in your situation. And not only that, you're going to discover what it is He wants you to discover to be able to taste and see His goodness for you also as well in this season of your life. God says this for you. I've made you like a seed. And I've planted you in me. Here's a seed right here, an apple seed. Inside this apple seed literally has the roots, has the stalk, has the leaves, has the branches, has the fruits. And this right here will produce 100 to 400 pounds of apples. And inside those apples are anywhere from 7 to 10 more of these seeds. But God says, I want you to understand you are the seed and I want you to learn to be able to see the fruits of this before it ever comes. Knowing that you know everything is here. You understand that it's got to grow and produce. But God says, if you understand this, you understand what I'm doing for you in this season. That you're going to be able to lift up your eyes and see the fruit, the harvest. But first I want you to see the seed that you know will produce all of that. And I want you to believe in what you know, that your faith isn't in faking it until you make it or fake it until you see it, but it's learning to see that everything you need is inside the seed. It's inside you. And God wants to take you prophetically in the season into a place that I like to call the secret place, which is you. You are the secret place. And you get to tap into the realms of the Spirit and the realms of God to discover who He is for you. That you can discover that rest that you've been looking for. That you can learn to take on the yoke you were never meant to carry. Do you understand like this has 100 to 400 pounds of apples inside this seed? It has a whole tree inside the seed. How many pounds is that? But think about when I put this in my hand, it's light. See, when you learn to see the way God sees you, the burden, the yoke is light as a seed, even though it carries thousands of pounds of wood, hundreds of pounds of apples, and hundreds of thousands of seeds are inside this thing. But God says, I need you to see the way I see about the situations that you're going through and what you've been carrying in this season, that you don't carry unnecessary burdens. And the reason why you're carrying them, the Lord says, is because you haven't learned to see. But I'm here to tell you, God's going to take you into that place and you're going to be able to take on his yoke and you're going to learn from him in this place. You're going to go into a time of meditation, of prayer, of intimacy. It's into me. You're going to begin to see, says the Lord. And he is going to show you how to find the rest that you're looking for in this season for your soul. Father, I just pray right now with the person on the other side of the screen in the mighty name of Jesus, that this individual watching me right now will feel the tangible presence of your spirit move over them right now, even through this device that they're watching me on in the mighty name of Jesus, that they will encounter your spirit in a great and mighty way. I want you to type encounter in the comments. I want you to go receive your daily prophetic words down in the description area. I want you to make sure to subscribe to this channel. Share us with about three of your friends. And make sure to remember this family. I love you.